I just cleared my makeup table for my food. Okay, hi everyone, it's Adiel here and welcome back to my channel and also another video in my Everyday Adiel in April series. So today I am doing such a fun video that I've wanted to do for the longest time. And today it was super unplanned. Like I have two more videos that I'm gonna film after this but I had no idea that I was gonna film another video and I just decided last minute, you know what, I had to do it to him. So today I am filming my first ever mukbang. And if you don't know what a mukbang is, so I first found out about them from Trisha Paytas. Basically, it's like an eating show. So I eat and I'll talk to you guys. And if a mukbang isn't the definition of me eating and talking, I don't know what is. So I was like, how come I haven't done one of these yet? And today I was going to Earth and I was like, you know what? I had to take it to go because traffic and I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna eat there. And I was like, we're filming it. So I got my food and I'm so excited because Earth is actually one of my favorite places. I know it's kind of basic, super LA, you know, but Earth is genuinely so amazing. So. We're gonna unbox the food. Oh my god, I feel like such not like a beauty guru. We got our strawberries and bananas, which fun fact actually comes with the earth mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is my everything, okay? The mac and cheese is so freaking good. I don't know what they put in it, but it is some good ass mac and cheese. And also for my drink today, I got a cafe glace. And normally from Earth, I get a blended green tea boba, and that's amazing. But then I tried this. I was just looking at the menu because I was like, I kind of want something different. And I saw vanilla milkshake with espresso. I think it says espresso drizzle or something mixed with espresso or something. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. I love, like, coffee. I love coffee ice cream. I love, like, all that stuff. So I was like, that sounds delicious. And I got it, and it is delicious. I do recommend getting the milds, though. I made the mistake last time I got a strong and honestly, it was a little too heavy, but this is perfect. Also, I got a fruit tart because guys, okay, I always, cause I would go to Earth when I would come on vacation to LA, I would always go to Earth. I would always stare at this fruit tart. One day, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself, get me a fruit tart. So life-changing, the best thing ever, and now I cannot resist, it's so amazing. So, got our utensils, and they wrapped up the mac and cheese, and a bitch is hungry, so. Hopefully this is still good. I think it's still hot, so I think it's gonna mix nice and well. I have to drive 45 minutes home in traffic. Okay, let me try and mix this before I show you guys. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect. We're not gonna have to heat this up at all. Oh my god, it's beautiful. This is the mac and cheese. Okay, should I take a picture with all my food? Okay, I think we're gonna do that. Thumbnail. Chapetis always does that. I don't really have a high enough table. All right, we're gonna do this. Mmm. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Oh, so good! I'm gonna use different forks for the fruit. I have a mac and cheese fork, and we're gonna have a fruit and a fruit tart fork. So this mac and cheese, it's actually on the kids' menu. And they serve it with a side of fruit, which... California fruit is so fresh and so good. Is it, like, acceptable to talk with my... Well, I have food in my mouth for a mukbang. I'm pretty sure it is because like you're supposed to eat and talk So like I don't normally do this, but I have to keep this entertaining Like that's kind of weird if you're just sitting there watching me eat while I don't talk So I need a bite of this fruit tart. I love this I'm multitasking because I needed to eat before I filmed but now I'm doing knocking two for mm -hmm, hmm. First of all, if you don't follow me on my Instagram or any of my social medias, you wouldn't know my obsession for food. I am such a foodie. Like, I'm always talking about food. And I feel like I'm making food, like, another part of my brand. Like, yeah, I make fashion beauty and fashion videos. But your girl loves to eat. So I'm always making, like, stories involving my food. And, like, I have a food section. Like, you know how you can have your story highlights? I have a food highlight section. If that doesn't tell you how much I love food, I don't know what does. I love all types of food, all different cultures. I'm gonna try and talk with my mouth open, but like not gross, you know, like not so you could see everything because I have to talk for this video. Yeah, so obsessed with food, just food in general is just amazing. I'm not a picky eater whatsoever. The only thing, and even the things that I'm picky about, I still eat. Like I used to be super picky with mushrooms and eggplant. Now I'll eat those, both of those. I'm not like, get it away from me, you know? The most outrageous thing that I think I've eaten 
was probably snails. They're so good though. The only thing I'm not a fan of is authentic Chinese food. And I know I'm half Chinese, but no, I cannot do the authentic Chinese food. Like I'll eat it, but I'm never gonna like, oh, I need authentic Chinese, you know? Except I think it's salt and pepper pork. And there's a bunch of peppers. Oh my God, it's so good. Me, eats the dessert before the dinner. Oh my God. So you ever wanna take me on a date or impress me? Take me where there's food. <laughs> That's not the most low standard thing I've ever said. Oh my God. It's extra good today. I was nervous. This was sitting for a long time, but. The one thing I always missed when I would leave California is Earth. They have a bunch of locations around the Los Angeles area. I think they just opened one in Orange County. And they really should expand to San Diego and San Francisco and all over, honestly, because they're that good. I'm trying to think of what else I can talk about other than food. The first thing I can think of that happened in my life was Palm Springs and Coachella. But I feel like I've talked about that so much, I don't want to talk about it again because I think you get the hint. Oh, okay. I'll talk about Migos. Guys, I am obsessed with Migos. I think the only top three artists right now, um, for a while, honestly, Mios, Drake, Cardi B, then Rihanna, then I don't know, I just like a bunch of random rappers like I love Yo Gotti, Rich the Kid, Future, Chris Brown, he's not really a rapper but you know. Every time someone puts me on the spot and asks me like my favorite artist, I freak. Who else am I like die hard for? I can't think of anyone else right now. But guys, so I got to see Cardi B and Migos live at Coachella and let me tell you a backstory. So I've been trying to see Migos literally I wanted to go back when I was in New York, and same thing with Drake, but I'm waiting on Drake tickets to come out. I wanted to see Migos in New York, and I had a concert. I believe they were combined with people. I think it was like Migos, 21 Savage, Tory Lanez. Oh, also love Ty Dolla Sign. But it was like a combination, you know? And I wanted to go, but no one, well, I have people that wanted to go with me, but let's just say I wasn't allowed. The shade. <laughs> Anyways, not and not for my parents. <laughs> my second dad at the time. Anyway, then I moved to California and they were playing at the LA County Fair like right when I moved and I had like no friends out here. And the friends that I did have didn't want to spend, I think it was like $70. And it was just them, like they were gonna be alone and that's a steal. And I was like, guys, like Migos is blowing up. And I am a diehard Migos fan. Like I was singing Fight Night in the fourth grade. Like I remember, I don't know if it was fourth grade. I just remember, being young and being at a school dance and being like, I'm gonna knock the like fight night because like they would blur it out so I didn't know what they were actually saying. But I was always obsessed with them, right? And then Hannah Montana, look at my dab, you know, and then they just started blowing up like kind of recently, I guess you'd say. And I'm like, guys, like when they go on tour, they are going to be $300 tickets. I keep like hesitating to eat because I feel gross like talking with my mouth open. Oh well. Anyways, no one wanted to go with me. Then, waiting, waiting, waiting. Then I found out they, they were having a concert April 16th and I wanted to go so bad and I asked everybody. I think tickets were $100. They were at the observatory in Santa Ana. I was like, I need to go. Nobody wanted to go with me. I'm about to start asking like my supporters, like you guys, will you guys come with me to concerts? Like shit. No idea I was going to Coachella. I've explained the story, but like long story short, when Nyx had invited me to Palm Springs, I always do this a lot. <laughs> so this is kind of like what it would be like to hang out with me and get food with me. When Nyx invited me to Palm Springs, it was like a week before. So they had no Coachella tickets left. And then of course, the day Migos and Cardi happened to be performing, someone gave up their ticket to Nyx. And they hit me up, we're like, come down to the lobby at 4.30. This was 3.45 by the way. You're coming to Coachella, like we want you to come. I was like, ah! Most amazing experience ever. Anyways, I get to Coachella. Cardi B was already performing as I got there. So I didn't get to get close or anything, but I had VIP. So I was kind of like on the side. And also the sun was setting. So I had to get my Coachella pictures in because did you really go to Coachella if you didn't take pictures? That goes for anywhere, any place. If you didn't take pictures, you were not there or you did not wear the outfit, you know? So I was like, okay, I need pictures, but I was listening at the same time, but I just, I wish I could have been closer, but eventually, hopefully Cardi will go on tour someday, but she's pregnant now, so I don't know. Then I met up with my boo, Paige Sakoski, who I'm so obsessed with and we used to hang out a lot more when I lived in New York. You know, I never see her, so I was so hyped. She was at Coachella. Her and um, the people she was with wanted to see like Odessa and Eminem. I don't listen to Odessa. 
And honestly, I'm not a fan of Eminem. Like, I won't go too hard right now. I won't roast. Like, sorry to any Eminem fans out there, but I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan. So still, nobody wanted to go to the stage to see Migos. And I was like, okay, well, honestly, I don't care. I am a diehard Migos fan. Like, I'm seeing Migos. I'm seeing Migos. So, it's like, I'm at freaking Coachella. Migos is at Coachella. It's a wrap. Like, it's happening. I'm like, because I guess people don't, feel comfortable going to things alone or concerts alone and especially like Coachella you're not really supposed to split up but I was like if I can move across the damn country by myself and I'm still alive I think I can walk across a huge desert field in Coachella to go to the Sahara stage to watch my boys perform so that's exactly what I did I took my butt and I got a churro sundae which was delicious and the pizza at Coachella was the closest pizza I've had to New York pizza since moving here. So props to them. Still not comparable, but it was good. $8 for a slice, though. But the slice was, like, a little bigger than my head, so. Prices are ridiculous there, and I don't agree with it because I personally feel like people are spending at least 500 on your tickets. Like, you can't make the food cheap. Even the alcohol, I don't drink, but the alcohol, I think someone said it was, like, $13 a drink. So, <laughs> I literally went, like, right as, okay, so this, there's six stages at Coachella. I learned my way around pretty fast. Like, I'm from New York. I, I know my directions. I know how to get around. And um, if I'm alone, I don't really give a crap. So I was like, at least like I'm at Coachella because I was contemplating going to their actual concert like by myself. But I'm like, I'm here at Coachella, like I need to live it up. So the one band that was performing ended at 8.50 and by 8.50 I was there. And people were already camped out from the last band staying there for Migos. So I don't really know since it was my first day. I don't know if there was like a VIP section in the front for Migos, but I don't think so because I know there's a VIP section on the side, but I would be over here and the stage would be over here and I'd be seeing it from the side. So I was like, no, I'm going straight as close to the front as I can. So it was kind of a struggle. I was getting some dirty looks, was getting pushed a little bit, but I was like, Oh no! So then I made a friend, two friends, these two guys that are cousins, and we made a pact to like go to the front, like help each other out, like get to the front, you know? So we tried, like, as the concert went more and more on and people were leaving to go see Eminem and people were not dancing. That pissed me off. The people in the front were not dancing. Like, how are you gonna be in front Migos and not be like, hey, hey, you know, like, Anyway, so we make our way pretty close. I'll insert the clip right here to how close I ended up getting, but that was like the last song, but still like, it was close, it was pretty close, you know? It was, they were so good, I could cry. Like that's how much of a Migos fan I am. And before the concert even started, the kid I became friends with can attest to this. I literally looked over to him and I said, I swear to God, if they play Fight Night, I am going to go crazy and they were like where are my day one migos fans at and then they were making us do all the noise they were like mama you know like <laughs> everyone had to do the noises they're just they're amazing anyways i need to do amigos drive with me but anyways first they did hannah montana for the day ones and i was like okay if they're gonna do hannah montana they're gonna do fight night the second i heard the beat drop. I screamed and it was so embarrassing. I didn't even post it to my snap. Like, I was like, ah! like it was so bad. I didn't even realize. Like, I was just in the moment the entire time. I did not care. Like, when you go to a concert and then you watch back the footage and you're like, oh, like I sounded like that. But yeah. Anyways, I was like, like I was just going crazy dude like they were doing like little opening things but their first like actual kind of like performance was slippery they are just so talented I cannot describe my love for them I was hands down the happiest happiest girl in the world at that Coachella performance honestly not a care in the world not a thought in my head I was turning up like I've never turned up before that was the best performance I've ever seen in my life to date. I would see them a million and one times. They are so good and they just get everyone so late except the people in the front like 
we're about to square up. But anyway, stir fry, they played bad and bougie, they played t-shirt. Oh, and they played narcos. Oh my God. I couldn't even post that and I won't even put the footage in this video. That's how embarrassing it is. I was making all of like takeoff and huevos noises. <laughs> wow, wow. I was a little disappointed that Cardi didn't come out for motorsport, but you know, she's pregnant and I'm pretty sure she might have been on the plane back to New York. I don't really think so though, because she has to perform next weekend. I don't know. But I'll give her that. She has an excuse. And I mean, the tension between her and Offset though, like I wouldn't, if I was her, I wouldn't do him any favors either. Like I'd be like, okay, you want me to perform? Oh, how would you ask that bitch? <laughs> I guess we're just talking about music, food. So then, um, yeah, speaking of Cardi, her album, just so relatable. And I recently found some shit out, and now I relate 20 times more. I won't say it, I won't uh, put it flat out there like that, but I'm pretty sure you can assume. Trash. Anyways, speaking of that, uh, that kind of situation got me real down last week like I was knocked down I was doing so amazing you guys know I've been living my best life um, truly and loving every moment and I got really knocked down let me just say Nick's and Palm Springs and the news I found out you guys aren't gonna find that out till next this summer but when you do you guys are all gonna cry I was sobbing I can't wait like I'm gonna sob again like wow like and the friends that I've told, some of them have actually teared up and like started crying tears of joy, like, wow. But anyway, um, enough teasing. I knew Palm Springs was coming up, so I was looking forward to that. But then I um, found out some rough news from a situation that I've been healing from and knocked me down once again. All weekend, it was kind of still on my mind, but I was trying to enjoy it. And I honestly feel like every time something knocks me down, a new blessing comes up. It makes me really emotional, but not even to like seem cocky or anything, but I truly feel like I haven't had the best life the last few years, honestly. Like, no, that sounds really bad, okay. Meaning like the best quality of life. Like I I have an amazing family. I have always had those few amazing friends that weren't snakes in the end. Um, and um, I was always grounded, you know, and I always had my YouTube and I always had my career and I was always happy to an extent. But I feel like my middle school and high school years, I was kind of really, really robbed and screwed over. That all took a huge toll on my life. And I feel like I never enjoyed the full blessings that I did get because I was just so down. And then also my toxic relationship, that ruined me. Like, So I just have dealt with so much fakeness and I've been treated terribly like by so many people that one, have been close to me and two, that didn't even know me all of high school. You guys know my high school experience was terrible. Like I was bullied and not the normal definition of bullying where it's like literally like physically, like no one came up to me. You can watch my high school experience video if you don't know what I'm referring to, but it was bullying. Look up the definition. I don't know. And then I moved out here and you guys know I was dealing with my breakup and was being screwed over by someone that I thought was my everything. And I don't know, I just feel like my my teenage years I was handed a lot that I didn't deserve whatsoever and like I'm gonna start getting emotional but like I truly feel like I'm finally getting what I deserve I'm not fully where I want to be yet but life is finally starting to pan out like I'm, I'm finally seeing the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow you know like or the storm's finally ending and I'm seeing the rainbow at the end of the storm and I can finally say that I'm fully happy in like all aspects of my life so that situation got brought up this week and I found out some it's something blindsiding that I had no idea and um, I was down like it knocked me right back down but then Nyx and Coachella and the news I found out I was like really I'm gonna be down about this and then like I was sitting in my hotel room alone like I was at the pool for seven hours like by myself and then coming back from the pool, I was literally going to spend the night alone. Like, I was just going to edit and go to sleep. And then Coachella came up. And I was like, holy crap. Like, what? And then um, also today, something happy happened in my life. 
I don't really want to go into that because that's kind of more personal. Let's just say it involves dating. I can say that, but like that kind of part of my life, as much as I want to make it public to you guys, considering my situation and considering I made a situation like that very public and regret it really hard, I can't really go too much into it. But like things are finally settling into, well they were settling into place but I got knocked down last, last week and now like it's definitely getting set into place. Like things, it's kind of like God, like okay after the, the breakup I became a lot more spiritual and I gained a lot more faith in God and um, you know God's plan. And I don't mean to get like super religious at all but it's kind of like something will knock me down and God will literally right then and there the day of it's kind of crazy actually because the day something will happen a few hours later boom a blessing and I'll be like wow like it's kind of just trippy and I just feel like this is kind of like what I've deserved for so long and I'm just so happy that I can finally be happy and that having all these blessings happen in my life I'm like getting so emotional Whew. no but like Honestly, I feel like I truly deserve this and I'm finally at a point where I'm like truly happy in my life and with the people in my life and things are panning out the way they're supposed to and I think I had to go through all that roughness to appreciate the good so that much more and like as you can see I really do appreciate it Ooh, guys you can't I can't even wait to tell you guys the news but I think I'll conclude the video here because I've been talking for so long I didn't even notice I didn't even think I would be crying wow but um <laughs> crying as I stuffed my face and I truly I need to thank you guys because this is getting so sappy I'm sorry even when I felt like I didn't have much um, when I felt like I was in a bad place in life. I always had you guys. You guys have given me a source of confidence that I can't even explain. All these opportunities I would never even have gotten without you guys. And my dreams keep becoming more and more of a reality. And this opportunity that I got that's coming up that you guys will find out this summer is to, to date one of the biggest opportunities that have came for my career. And this is only the beginning. And like, I love you guys with all my heart. And wow, I'm a mess. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want me to do more mukbangs. I'm kind of full right now, actually. I'm gonna save my fruit tart for later and I'm gonna try and finish this mac and cheese right now and force myself. But I definitely wanna do more of these with like my favorite restaurants, let you know like what I order at each. I know I'm primarily beauty and fashion, but I do typically, not just every day at Yale in April, but typically I post three times a week. So I kinda wanna incorporate more lifestyle, more relatable videos, cause I want you, I know my OG subscribers know me on a really personal level, but I feel like the new people don't really know me on that level as much because I was kind of focusing on my beauty and fashion for so long. And now I want to open up more. I want to share experiences. I want to keep going and like things like moot bangs. Like look what I, look what we're talking about. You get to know me better. You get to know my personality. You get to know my heart, my soul, my mind. And yeah, I love you all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I love you all so 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 much. Mwah. See you tomorrow. Bye everyone.